What's up guys, Doc in Progress here, and today we'll be talking about medical school interviews, specifically interviewing at the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine. Uh, what I talk about in this video will apply to other medical school interviews, but I'll just give you a, be giving you a specific rundown of what to expect when you come here to interview. First off, congratulations if you have an interview here, that's awesome. We're really happy to have you here, and I definitely know, coming from the East Coast, that it's quite the haul coming to the Midwest. Um, when I interviewed here, it was actually my first time in the Midwest, so uh, it was an experience. Um, if you come and you stay the night before, or you stay with a student host, uh, they'll probably take you out to eat with us uh, the night before, and that's always fun. Uh, if you have time to, to just come out and eat dinner, definitely do that. You'll meet some students, you'll get to know them. Uh, if you can't, it's no big deal. The next day you'll definitely meet students uh, and get to ask questions and their, get their point of view. But basically the interview day is broken down with first getting to the interview location. And so I'll cut right now. I took a video of where to go to get to your interview because it's a little bit confusing. So we'll just break that. Alright guys, so this is the side of the the Mayo building. Um, staff entrance is right there and across the street you see over here is the medical school. So naturally this is clearly the front and it has big doors right here. So a lot of applicants come through these doors but these would be the wrong doors to go through because when you go through these double doors there's another set behind them that lead into the library which is not really where you'll be interviewing. Um, Especially if you come before 8, those doors are actually locked too, the ones behind these doors, so you wouldn't be able to get in. So you have to come on over to the side. Over here, that's the front entrance. Here's the side entrance. And this is actually where you need to be. Walk to the side of the building. This door will definitely be open, even if you come you know, earlier than eight. Which is when the interview is scheduled for. Just come through these doors. And this is where you want to go. All right. So now that you know where to go for your interview, here's what to expect. So in the morning, you'll sit down uh, all together with the other interviewees. You'll talk and and then the interview starts at uh, 8 a.m. sharp. Uh, I recommend getting there 15 minutes early as you should with all other interviews. It's just so you don't have to stress. Uh, you look good because you'll be there on time and that's important. After that, the morning is basically filled with uh, talks and videos. So I'm not entirely sure if Mayo still does this portion but I'm almost certain they do where in the morning uh, they'll show you these videos which are actually on YouTube which you can find on your own but they made of like seven videos they're quick that kind of show you a bit of the Mayo Clinic experience from uh, different perspectives um, one of them is a video of people in the student-run clinic the other is um, a third year on rotations um, so they're pretty cool but uh, one thing to note is that if you're interviewing both at the Minnesota campus and the Arizona campus, it's actually the same video. Uh, and I experienced that last year and I was a little like, hmm, kind of seems lazy. But just understand that it is a national school and that they really want to brand it that way. So of course the interview process is kind of the same. It's the same interview process, but they're different. They're different though in the sense that they're not connected in any way. You can get into both. You can get into one and not get into the other one. Uh, the committees are completely separate. They don't discuss things. Um, so just understand that. And uh, before the videos that they show you though, uh, you'll get to meet the dean uh, if he's around. If he's not around, you'll get to meet some member of the faculty that's whoever they may be, the vice chair of admissions is who I met on my interview day. Uh, you might get to meet the chair of admissions, the uh, associate dean of admissions. Um, so it's a really great experience. If you get to meet the dean, that's super cool. He's really hands-on. He 
he loves meeting students, he loves teaching, and he's just a great dean overall. And that is one thing to note about the Mayo Clinic is having access to your dean, like the dean of the medical school, who also happens to be a neurosurgeon, it is just, it's, it's not usual. You'll go to other schools, you'll know who the dean is, but you'll probably never see them except white coat ceremony and graduation. You certainly will not be shadowing them in the OR during the first month of school or having breakfast at uh, breakfast meetings in the morning every month. Um, so he really, you know, he's really hands-on and that's great. And I definitely want to say that you should ask him any questions you want because he'd be happy to answer them. And uh, he's a really down-to-earth guy. So after that, you'll probably watch the videos and then you'll have some free time. And in the free time, they'll give you a list of places to check out, um, they'll point you in the right direction. Stick with your interview group. Mayo is kind of large, it's a large campus, and it, it can get easy, it, it's easy to get lost, but you can find your way, you just have to ask uh, someone else. But um, if you go in a group, it's always easier to find your way back. So I recommend doing that. So go check out some of the cool places. And then after that, you will have one interview in the morning. And so the way, the interviews at Mayo work is that you have two 30-minute interviews. Uh, they're very conversational, but you should definitely know your application front and back. Um, that's important for any interview, but uh, you know, the Mayo interviewers are, they, they, they read your application and they're interested in getting to know you. They really are. They're not going to just ask you generic questions, but they're going to, they want to have a conversation with you. And they, obviously the only thing they know about you at the point of walking in and meeting you is your application. So if they know your application and they've taken the time to read it, you should at least know your application. And I know that you, it might be later on in the cycle and you may forget the details here and there, but you should always read your application over again the night before an interview just so you remember all the details you put in, everything you, because you don't want to be caught off guard. And so you'll have one interview in the morning. It can be with a faculty member. Um, I know one of my, one of my interviewers was a faculty, but he was retired. Uh, and it, you can also have a student. I know a few students on the uh, interviewing committee and, uh, or the admissions committee who interview, and they can be third or fourth year students. So after that, you'll come to lunch. And first and second year students normally are at lunch with you. Um, you'll have four students, you'll get to talk to them, you get to eat, your meal is paid for, uh, you just go across the street to the dining area uh, and you can eat whatever you want, uh, it's paid for. And then you just sit down and you ask whatever questions you want. And that's really a, just an open feel then because those students that you have food with and the students that give you the tour they don't have a bearing on your application process. They're just there to help you answer your questions, whatever you need. And like I was saying, after the uh, after lunch, you'll go. You'll either go on a tour or you'll have your second interview. So at that point, you're you're split. So you might have your second 30-minute interview, which again, extremely conversational. Uh, don't be stressed over it. Just you know, obviously know what you put on the application and just be calm. There's no need to be super intense. There's no need to be a gunner. Just talk to the interviewer. They just want to get to know you. And so if you have the tour first, you'll obviously have the interview after the tour. And if you have the interview first, then you'll have the tour after. And so the tour is just going to be students and they'll walk you around the Mayo Clinic and uh, show you the best spots basically and show you things you may be interested in. Um, we're kind of given free reign with that, so we can kind of bring you wherever we want in the Mayo Clinic. Um, and yeah, so you, after all of that, your day will end at 3 p.m. It should end around 3 p.m. They really try to keep the schedule. And after that, you go home, and that's the end of it. And Mayo is one of the few places where, I, I mean, it's really obviously important before you go on your interviews, you should research the school. You've probably already done it for your secondary essays, but if you haven't done so already, research it a little more, get to know them. Mayo, huge, huge belief that the needs of the patient come first. And also professionalism is huge here. And you should know that going into the interview. 
your best foot should be forward the entire interview day. It doesn't matter if you're in the interview room, at lunch, on a tour, walking on your own. You should be professional the whole time because you have to understand our school is big on professionalism, okay? And also there are patients walking around during your interview day. So understand that you know, you're know you in an environment where there are sick people around, there are expectations from patients, and we are super happy to have you interviewing here. We really are super happy. But you also have to know that you're, you're basically part of the Mayo Clinic once you step in, right? Once we're walking you around, you're part of the Mayo Clinic, and so there's expectations there. So be professional, be courteous, understand that there are patients around and it's not a contained environment, um, especially when we're walking through the tour. But other than that, um, good luck. The interview cycle is a long cycle and for, for Mayo, it's not rolling admissions. We interview until December and then the, committees will, the committee will meet They'll talk about students, they'll figure out their list, and then they'll accept people uh, and the wait list and reject people basically in the same day or the same week. But it all happens in one week, basically. And uh, yeah, one other thing is that Mayo, obviously being in Rochester, Minnesota, is they are very aware that not a lot of people want to end up in Rochester for medical school. People want to end up at Mayo. Mayo is great. Rochester, I know coming from New Jersey, I never thought I'd live in Rochester. I love it here now that I'm here, but going into the interview, they understand that you're going to have doubts about moving to Rochester. And it's important for you, if you really do love Mayo, tell them. Write thank you letters to your interviewers. Email them, whatever you want to do, just thank them because they've taken the time out of their day to meet with you. Also. You should let the admissions committee know if you're interested. Letter of intent, letter of interest. Those are two things that are taking, taken very seriously by the admissions committee. So if you're interested, tell us. Because there's no way for us to read your mind and, and just guess like, yes, we understand you're interested in the medical school, but are you truly willing to come here? Is this your first choice? Is this a top choice? Be truthful, be honest, but make sure you stay in contact with Mayo throughout the cycle. You don't want to just have your interview and then not talk to us until the decisions come out because most of the time that won't turn out well, at least for this school. You want to stay in constant contact because we want to know that you are interested, you're still interested, and this is the place you want to be. If you don't want to commit with a letter of intent, you don't have to. Just write a letter of interest. Tell us you're interested. Stay in constant communication is the key for this school. Um, that, that part of my advice does not, is, it's not the same for every school. Um, some schools don't like having contact from their applicants. Um, it's up to you to do the research to find that. But I can say for my school, for Mayo, communication is important. And that's, that's going to be true when you come here too. That doesn't just end. This is a school where uh, a lot of communication is, is kind of expected, honestly. Um, you know, they, they constantly, they want feedback on their classes, they want a feedback on the class, they, they, they want you to talk to them. And um, so if that's not your cup of tea, then maybe this isn't the best place for you, but I think it's great, I love it. Everyone will have your back here. Everyone is in constant communication with you. You never feel alone. It might be a small class, but everyone here it is phenomenal and that is true of both the students and the faculty staff everyone's great here just understand that like I said professionalism communication is your expectations when you come here so good luck on your interview day I wish you the best I have already met some of you during lunch talks and and tours and that's great I you know I love meeting you guys uh, I love hearing your stories and uh, I hope I get to meet some more of you so Good luck again.